Hello, Ness Tilson here, and this is a video to show how I um, use ProjiCAD, or you can also use other CAD systems like AutoCAD, to assemble different stair parts that have been individually designed in Stair Designer. So here I have um, built in Stair Designer a simple half turn staircase, and this staircase. If I can look at the plan of the staircase, we have it here. Um, what I do is I will export the stair, export stair, in 2D and in 3D to have 2D and 3D DXF files. I do the same for um, a platform here, which I've made in in Stair Designer. This is the plan of the platform. If we look at the platform in 3D, we can see it here. You can see my other videos to see how, how to make a platform in Stair Designer. So this is a platform landing that I want to assemble to my 3D staircase. So I do the same with the landing. I will save, export the landing in 2D and in 3D. And then these DXF files, I'm going to put them together in ProjiCAD to build the final project. So let's move over to ProjiCAD now to um, to see how I do this. So we click on the window, the ProjiCAD window, and here we have ProjiCAD window. Now that I'm in ProjiCAD, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open, let's open first the DXF file here, the half turn stead 2D DXF file. Here we have the 2D DXF file. What I want to extract out of the drawing is in fact the plan of the stair. So this is the the part that I want to extract out. So the rest I don't really need, so to get, I'm just going to get rid of it using the Arrays um, command. And that gets rid of all the different parts that we don't need, just to keep our plan view. Now, the plan view um, I'm going to take, now open the plan view of the uh, platform. Here we have the plan view platform in 2D. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to um, just erase everything I don't need so it'll be a bit clearer to work with. Uh, let's erase all these parts. These elevations is what I don't really want. And these parts here. And these parts here. And I'm going to take this, this plan view that I'm going to use and I'm going to transfer it into the other drawing of the staircase. To do this I'm going to use the um, addition and copy with base point command. I'm going to take a base point here and take all the objects in the drawing, copy them, move to the staircase plan drawing and I'm going to just insert the plan of the mezzanine, uh, the uh, platform, or it can be a mezzanine, yes. And here we have the full plan. We have a plan of the staircase joined to the mezzanine, or the platform. If we look at it in isometric view, we have this. I'm going to use this as the basis for assembling the 3D. Let's move into the, other, the 2D drawing. Let's close the 2D drawing now. I don't need it. And let's open the staircase 3D drawing. So here we take the staircase 3D and here we have a drawing of the staircase in 3D with an isometric view and we can give it a quick render to see how it looks in 3D. This is the, the model that's come straight out of Stair Designer. Um, the first thing we have to do to the model to be able to sort of work with it um, we're going to take away. Uh, we're going to exp we're going to explode it twice. This is, is going to explode all the different blocks and and um, and just give us a drawing which is made of 3D um, 3D faces. And we're going to use the same command. We're going to copy it. Let's move the uh, take the other take take the uh, isometric view from this side, and let's copy it using the bottom of the po of the new post as a copy point. 
It's now copied into the um, copied, and let's add it to the 2D drawing. And we'll click it onto the base of it, into its position on the 2D drawing. Now we have 2D drawing with a 3D clicked onto it. Let's close the 3D drawing now. We don't need it anymore. And let's open the 3D drawing of the platform or the mezzanine. Here we have 3D drawing of the mezzanine. We're going to do the same thing as we did with the stair. We're going to explode it twice to get rid of all the blocks in the drawing. But we only have 3D faces. We're going to copy it with a base point. We're going to take uh, the base point here and let's take all the the elements of the platform move into the move into the the assembly drawing the assembled drawing and let's just paste it into the assembled drawing now we've assembled the two if we have a look at with a render and we have the staircase moving up onto the mezzanine Let's move it on to the side. And now this is pretty good. Now the advantage of putting this into ProjiCAD, uh, besides having the assembled uh, perspective of the whole thing, is that we can add other elements which give it a more realistic effect for presentations. And here we have the the model um, of the stair and the mezzanine assembled in ProjiCAD. Um, we can turn around the model, that we can take all the different isometric views very easily. And we're going to use this model now to create a quick presentation uh, of the project for a customer. So we're going to try and give it a more realistic view of the of the project more attractive presentation so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, add some walls to this project so let's just regen and let's add a few walls so that we the staircase looks a bit more in situation now I've created a layer for drawing my walls specific layer and I'm just going to add a few Let's see, add a few walls to it. So a few walls starting from here. Got a wall that goes back here. So a wall here. I'm going to give a height to these walls. These are just rectangles that I'm going to extrude to give heights. I'm going to give a height of 4 meters 50 to the walls. Let's add some openings to the walls. I'm going to add an opening, for instance, here, and I'm going to add an opening, say, let's add an opening somewhere around here, like that, and let's give each opening a height of 2 meters 10, and let's subtract these openings from the walls so that we get some openings. If we look at the view in a shaded position, we now have walls with openings. Um, the next thing to do is to add some textures to the different elements of the drawing. So we can add textures with the texture materials toolbox and we can add them as everything is separated into different layers we can just add by layer we click on layer and here we we've, we've added I've added already added uh, some textures to different the, the different the elements on each layer so for 
the um, spindles uh, we put in some metallic spindles and let's say we want them to be uh, bright silver click OK and we go in to the rest of the different elements and we just add textures to each different layer once the textures are added we can have a look at what it actually gives this is a quick render let's take away the the base level so that we don't have the base level in place and here we have a text we have a textured model let's take a perspective view of it let's change our view of the model a bit so that we can have a look at it from a more realistic type of angle Take a create a perspective view. Perspective, auto perspective. And let's give this one a render. And this uh, puts the staircase more in a sort of a realistic situation and is a bit more presentable for different projects. So, hope this has been interesting for you and uh, I'll see you maybe in the next video. Thank you very much for, for looking and listening.